Hi guys, this will be episode 2 in my bargain store project series. Um, I picked this up today and I really fancy uh, using it. A nasal hair removal kit. I just couldn't resist buying it. Um, obviously it's got an electric motor in there, but I'm not going to use this one today. I'll save that for a later date. What I am going to do is use this um, toothbrush. Right, first thing to do is take it out of the package. That was fairly simple. Can't think of any use for the spare brush other than take it apart and see how it works. just pulls off so that's easy enough. And the electric motor's in there somewhere. So we'll probably have to do what I usually do which is saw the end of it off just so we can get to the motor. Just measuring the depth. There. Let's go for broke and saw it. There we are, that's the end cut off. Let's stick a couple of batteries in. Next thing is the project that I intend to build. Um, I was thinking of using a couple of legs. Um, with pivot points on a CD. So that as the CD turns round, the leg comes down can't really show that without drilling it and putting it in, but actually that leg's not long enough for what I want, so I'm going to have to get some longer bits, probably have to cut some plastic. But the idea is that as the, whip, as the CD turns round, it, the CD doesn't actually touch the floor, the leg comes round, touches the floor, and pulls the, uh, whatever we want to call it, crawler bot forwards. That's the general idea. So say, I'm not quite sure if that'll have enough strength, enough power. What I'm going to do is use it very small pulley at that end and I'm going to make a disc to go just inside the edge of the CD. So it'll be a very big pulley. So small pulley, big pulley should have power to turn a big wheel. Maybe. We'll find out. I've got another pizza tray here. I'm going to use that as the centre of my pulley. So set this to, up to 55, which should give me a 110 circle. Need to cut that out. I need my knives. Craft knives. Which I also bought in a bargain store quite a long time ago now. Um, some of them have gone blunt by now. But uh, again, pound. So, let's see if we can cut this out. So I shall glue that in there, make a sandwich with that one on top, and that'll be our pulley. So hot glue time. Right, there we are, that's hot glued in the centre, 
possibly not the neatest bit of hot gluing I've done. Got lots of little bits stringing around there. But uh, that's the general idea. So that's my extra big pulley. The idea is we're going to have a rubber band which I've had to tie three together. And I'll trim the edges off later. But that will sit in there. And hopefully get turned around like that. So we'll see. Right, stage two. Design the body. Right, I'm using my polystyrene pizza trays again. And I'm just trying to design some sort of a shape for the body. Uh, I've got an idea, so we'll try it out. I think you're just going to have to bear with me on this. Um, it's not going to be immediately obvious what I'm trying to attempt until we get near the end. Right, that's the um, basic body shape. Not finished, but that's the basic shape. The idea is this will sit on the outside the motor will actually poke through somewhere back about here somewhere and the legs will be attached here somewhere If you've guessed where I'm going with this, you're doing better than me. Right, I've just drilled a couple of holes right the way through my CDs to act as the pivot points for the legs. On that one I've only drilled the one hole. On this one I've drilled two opposite each other, just in case I decide that rather, having, rather than having both legs go together, I want them to go alternately. So I could have my connection on the opposite side. Right, I've just hot glued a drinking straw across the front so that that can hold the axle. in mind is for the motor to be near the back and quite a long rubber band going to it and I've just been thinking that rubber band might be too stretchy but we'll we'll try it. What I'm hoping is that with the weight at the back there won't be too much weight for the legs to be lifting up and down crawl forwards, so we'll see. To help the rubber band stay on this little plastic bit, I'm just sticking a couple of very thin plastic circles onto it and hot gluing them in place. So I've got something to hold the rubber band in place. Hopefully that will help. We'll find out when we come to use it. So, got to hot glue these in place as well one on each side. I'll make it over, over long at the moment and then trim it later.
Right, let them cool down for a while. Right, that's the motor in position. I haven't glued it yet. It's just in position. I'm not sure if that rubber band's too tight or whether it's all right. Now we need to put some legs on it. Right, for the legs, I'm going to use this plastic strip. This is part of some blinds um, from our front room. There was quite a few extra slats left over because I bought a length that was too long. So this is it's a relatively flexible plastic. It's about two millimetres thick. I'm going to cut some half inch strips off it to use as legs. That's stripped down four lengths of plastic. Okay, I've put my linkages in. Um, there's a, another straw across the back with a, another barbecue skewer through it. So that basically holds the legs sort of vertical. Big question is does it work? Um, not quite at the moment. Might have a bit more work to do. If I just turn it on you can see the general idea. But as I suspected I don't think it's quite got enough power. Um, I'll just let that drop. That's just about moving. Turn that off. I think if we uh, go and find somewhere with a bit more space for it to have a go, it might work. Okay, we'll have a test run. turning left a bit, which it's not supposed to be. There we go, a crawler bot. Alright, a reasonably successful crawler bot. It's struggling a little bit, to be fair. summary, an oscillating toothbrush, cut the head off it so I could get to the motor, made a little pulley at the back, made a big pulley using a couple of CDs joined together with a bit of polystyrene up the middle, and then some linkages out of some pieces of plastic that I've stripped out of uh, a Venetian blind. The chassis is made out of polystyrene pizza case. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, uh, wooden skewers inside some plastic drinking straws. And that's it. I think it would go a bit better if I'd got a, a single rubber band because the knots are catching. I don't know if you can see every so often they jam a bit because I had to tie knots in it, but other than that, that's working.